What up, everybody, and welcome back to Chad and Chill News. Now, I want to get straight into this story, man. Now, Ugandan President Yoweri Masaveri. <laughs> I'm Ugandan and I can't even say his name, so I apologize to the president. But anyway, <laughs> this is a funny story. The president of Uganda has tra <laughs> tries to ban oral sex because the mouth is for eating. <laughs> So basically, he wants to ban oral sex because the mouth is made for eating. So what he's talking about is he doesn't want chicks to give brain and he doesn't want man to lick out the pum pum. <laughs> or the asshole. Both ways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, the reason why this is funny is because like this guy is known for doing stupid ass shit. Now, let me talk to you about another situation. Um, it was to do with, um, 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 sorry, it was to do with the LGBT community. Now, it is a crime to basically, if you don't report seeing a gay man, you can go to jail for it. If you're caught being a gay man, you, I mean, you can go to jail for it, or apparently you can be beheaded for it. I have no idea about that part of the situation. But the guy is so 1902. Like, he is not chilling. He's an 18th century weirdo. Now, the interesting thing about the, when he was talking about it, you know, let me just play the video. Roll it. Let me take this opportunity to warn our people publicly about the wrong practices in that region, in that and promoted by some of the outsiders. One of them is what they call oral sex. The mouth is for eating. Okuria, okuria, cham cham. The the mouth is for eating, not for sex. Yeah. So you see the video where he's talking about. Yeah. It's, it's just crazy to me. Now, do you know the interesting thing when it comes to oral sex? Um, I guess we. I guess I have to let it out there. I have done it once. Don't judge me. It was a one year anniversary with my ex-girlfriend at the time. Don't judge me. We do them things. I don't even like it though. I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, now that we got that side out of the way, you might be like, yo, have you been done this tin cup? Listen, man, I've done this. I don't eat the booty though. I don't know about that one. You eat the booty dog? I don't know about that one. But anyways, listen, man. I think what's what's funny about this story is when you look at oral sex and how it kind of, you know, how it is. In America, it's glamorized like hell. The boys do it, the girls do their thing, and it's it's normal. In the UK, like especially when I was growing up, people would would either you know yum the pum pum, but they wouldn't tell you they're yumming the pum pum. They'll lie about it, and I'll tell you why they lie about it because people here judge and tell you that's nasty. Now the weird thing is, a lot of boys here who doesn't eat the yum yum or the pum pum expect the girl to give them head. Head is another form for sucking your penis. Now, the funny thing about that is I've always had this conversation with boys and girls, and I'm always trying to understand why is it that men here expect girls to give head or suck the penis, and girls don't necessarily expect the guy to eat the pom pom? Ask yourself that question. Comment down in the section below. If you're 18 and over, please, I don't want to be looking at no young, young teens comments. I'm don't really care if you're not of age. Anyways, um, <laughs> do make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. What do you think of this story, mate? Is the Ugandan president crazy? I think so. I'm Ugandan, and he's crazy. But anyways, man, make sure you subscribe and also like. I think I said comment like 10 times. I don't know, man. Just, yeah. <laughs> this guy's funny. Peace.